long and wow, what a video we got for you today. This uh, is a detailed look at the first gameplay trailer for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, lots revealed in this, lots of information uh, that we can glean from it. So we're going to have a closer look at it. Um, it. It's got the European map, it's got lots of new machines, it's got so much detail in this so let's break this down and have a look at what we got and the trailer opens with our first look at the brand new european map for farming simulator 2 this is hot Berylon, I think it's based in uh, a fictional region of France um, and uh, yeah you can immediately see from this first image Massive variation in the trees, a huge amount of detail. We've got a hot air balloon flying about as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm loving the uh, ver variety of the topography of the map as well. Um, and yeah, just so much detail uh, in this map. And you can see here in the bit where it's uh, where we, we zoom up and come and have a look. We've got this lovely view over the valley. I think this is a, a, a chateau or a monastery or so. I think it might actually be a monastery. I originally in my notes put chateau. Uh, but no, I think that might be a monastery on the top of the hill um, overlooking the valley. Lots of nice irregular fields that we've got on here as well looking into the distance uh so not everything is square yes we've got some sharp edges um not not too many uh, you know no real turns or anything in them but they are still not just straight up square fields and you can see this in uh, in this image even further from the monastery uh you've got uh, fields with yeah, well there's one right in front of us with five sides on it looking uh yeah just looking wonderful out on this valley i love the shimmering light on the water as well uh just the reflections are absolutely brilliant you can see the trees coming uh the tree line as they're as they're reflecting on there with the sunlight as well and uh and sort of the shadows and everything and, and they're nice uh unlike uh, fs19 shadows can be a little bit uh sharp the shadows on this very much aren't you you've got uh, a nice little bit of feathering to the edges of them also you can see in this uh, at the front of this in the walls we've got the uh, the uh, ocular inclusion mapping um, working wonderfully to give some real texture to the stonework here absolutely loving uh, this shot and uh, and the amount of detail in it and then we get to bits like this. This is uh, the river leading up into the town. And I can, the, the reason I love this shot and the reason why I love this bit is look at those reflections on the water. Just looking absolutely brilliant. I, d I don't think FS19 had reflections on the water like this. And it's, uh, there's just such a level of detail in this shot. Also, you can see uh, the variety of trees again. Um, definitely got more trees in this. Lots more variation in them. And, uh, and yeah, that is just looking really, really nice. And then look at this. The boats on the water this could almost be a painting uh it is uh it is such a beautiful uh, image um loving the detail on the uh the houses in the town on here as well uh just so much put into this that's that's great i don't think you can drive these boats i'm not expecting that to be a thing um but uh yeah the the amount of detail that has gone into this french map is just absolutely brilliant and it looks like in the background peeking from behind the house i think we've got another different type of hot air balloon and then our final shot across the uh, across the map uh, we've got this view yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point that, that this is a monastery sitting on top of this hill and you can see out across the map here i think this must be early morning um 
I'm, I'm loving the light reflecting off the uh, water to the left of the bell tower. Um, there's so bright and, and so nice and the, the haze that's all around it. There's a really nice atmosphere to this map. I think looking at the fields to the right of the map, uh, I there's a lot of space for expansion and, uh, and increasing field sizes and things like that. Uh, also noticing as I'm looking over the land here that it's it's not all uniform. We've got a lot of uh, variation uh, in the, in the ground, lots of uh, bumps and uh, and and uh, a little bit roughness. So uh, yeah, it's it's not just a straight up flat map. Um, there is a little bit of variation in the ground as well, which is really good to see. And then we have our first piece of equipment. This is a Massey Ferguson 8S uh, 205. Uh, great to see these tracks in. Remember seeing these when they were revealed by Massey Ferguson. And uh, yeah, we, we already knew this tractor was in the game. Um, the thing that actually I really want to draw attention to on this image uh, is the character model on the inside. The character models in FS22 seem to have been uh completely overhauled as far as the option goes and uh and yeah you can see it here uh, our, dr our tractor driver here has some fantastic facial hair um he's uh he's got a, he's got a cap on um we've got uh a, a shirt and a pair of jeans and as you, we go through these uh, images we'll we'll have a look at the variations that we've got in the character models but it seems like the character creator um has a huge amount more options uh, than the uh, previous version did uh trollable tires on here um and uh so uh nice little bit of detail with them and uh and we have a, a coon uh cedar pulled behind the tractor as well and then our next shot is of the uh, brand new class uh, Trion Combine. Uh, this was announced for the game uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think. Um, great to see that in here. Uh, features in this trailer in a couple of places. And uh, yeah, um, it's a really nice looking combine. Uh, you can see the number plate on the back and uh, we see on various points throughout this trailer, actually. There, there's a huge variation in the number plates. Some have uh, number plates with lots of, uh, with it just filled with words and others are very uh, specifically, uh, I think they're German mainly um, on them. And, uh, and yeah, it seems that the number plates are going to be very customizable in FS22. And then we come back to our Massey Ferguson uh, 8S. And I think this is the 8S. Unfortunately, at no point do we get a, a really clear shot of the side of this. But it seems to be pulling the same cedar behind it. Uh, again, draw your attention to the character models. Completely different uh, type of facial hair now. Uh, we've now got a, uh, a woolly collar jacket on. Uh, and we've got a hat. So, again, we're seeing more options here with the character models and what you can choose and what you can do with them. Also uh, noticing uh, that the number plate on this tractor says Massey Fergs. So, uh, yeah, you, you, it seems you can set almost anything on your number plate. And then we got another shot of the Massey Ferguson from the other angle, um, along with the Cedar. And this appears to be, in fact, I think we get a really clear shot of this later in the trailer. Uh, this is an ES Pro uh, 6000 RC. Um, I think it's a six meter uh cedar so yeah um good piece of kit then we move on to uh, a little bit of a tease for a, a fantastic piece of kit um we've got uh we've got our new holland cr 770 uh to the bottom right here and to the to the top left 
coming along the road. Uh, we have the Massey Ferguson 5S. Um, this is towing something behind it, which we will discuss in a minute, um, that is um, quite amazing to see in game. Did not expect this at all. Also, uh, I want to say on here, I'm loving the street lamp design that this map has they're they're really atmospheric and 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 very very nice you can also see again a little bit of variance in the trees and that really lovely reflection on the water uh in game and then we've got another shot of our ch770 um this this combine is uh a, a cracking small to medium combine that's that's in the game for fs22 uh really looking forward to using this i should also point out bottom right hand corner there's the chickens so we've uh we've got some animals in this trailer as well and yeah there are the chickens still no information on how the animals are going to work in fs22 but uh really looking forward to finding out more about it and then we got the CH770 at work. Again, we got a different character model on here. Uh, it's the, the variety of options for the characters are, are really huge. Uh, this one is wearing trainers, has uh, shorts on, and it looks like a poncho. Uh, it's either a, a poncho or a, or a cape or, or something like that wrapped around the top. Um, so yeah, a huge amount of variety in the character options in FS22, it would seem. Also, uh, I think this is wheat uh, that the Combine is harvesting, looking a lot thicker than it does in FS19, um, which is a welcome update. Um, also, noticing off to the right-hand side, uh, some weeds in the field. Looks like from that i would say and i am making a bit of a presumption from uh the uh the fact that we have a little bit of red off to the right hand side of the screen but that looks like weeds are not going to be something that is uniformly covering your field as it does in fs19 it looks like we might get something a little bit closer to how weeds work in seasons in fs19 and had get patches of them in the field for fs22 and then we come to the big one uh well the first big one because we have a, a couple of these in here but this is the massey ferguson 5s 115 um again you can see the number plate it has been customized uh i think that's a german number plate um so yeah some variety in the number plate there um but behind this massey is the really really cool uh reveal in this trailer uh we have a Massey Ferguson 1840 baler. This is a small baler. So we are getting regular small bales in FS22. How you're going to pick them up and, and collect them up, uh, I don't know. Uh, it seems to be that they, you're going to get an awful lot of bales on a field with this. But that is still really cool i'm i'm loving the fact that this is something that people have had as mods since uh well as far back as i can remember i, I think i remember these bales being available as a mod in fs15 uh and uh, in in fs19 they are now a base game feature which means they can come to console as well so console players you are going to get access to small bales uh, which is absolutely fantastic and then we have confirmation of the deer being an fs22 so these were something that was uh hopefully originally going to be in fs19 didn't make it in the final game um they are here in fs22 nicely animated and uh, and looking absolutely brilliant so yeah we have an increased amount of wildlife in uh, fs22 and really good to see that coming in as well 
and spooked by this was our deer. This is a Ponzi uh, Cobra forestry harvester. So uh, yeah, new equipment in for on the forestry side of things as well. Um, this is a really nice harvester. I've used mod uh, a mod of this in the past. And, uh, and yeah, it, it works really, really well as a harvester. I'm glad to see this in game. Slightly smaller than uh, the uh, bigger ones that we've had in the past. Or, or the, the, the ones we've had in the past from these. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's good to see some smaller forestry harvesters in here. Uh, good to see some new equipment from uh, Ponzi as well. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting that into the woods. And to go with it, uh, we have this. This is a Jens Hem 821 DQ Cobra. Um, one of the really nice features about this is it has a rising and rotating cab. So when you unfold this, uh, you unfold the uh, wood chipper on the back and the cab should rise up and turn and allow you to use that. Um, there's no evidence, I don't think, of this uh, uh, in the trailer of it doing it, but it would surprise me if this bit of equipment couldn't do that in-game. And we now move on to the first of the new crops. This, of course, is the grapes, and this is a Fence 200. Um, unfortunately, I can't even see exactly what the engine setup on is on this, but yeah, a new tractor from Fent uh, that's in the game. Behind this is a hardy Mercury 4000 mist blower, uh, a way of uh, doing uh, uh, fertilizing grapes. Um, great a little piece of kit. I'm expecting to see lots of equipment around uh, certainly the grapes and the olives. So uh, yeah, this is this is really cool and looking very, very nice. Which moves us on then to actually harvesting these grapes. This is a top-down view of the New Holland Browd 9070L Grape Harvester. Now, the thing that strikes me about this Grape Harvester uh, is the just the sheer level of detail on it. I mean, you can see from this top shot uh, the, the amount of, uh, of detail on the top of it, but you then get underneath like this. And again, you can see a huge level of detail on the inside as well. Uh, the, the models in this are just absolutely incredible. And then you get things like the animations off the back as well uh, of the bunches of the grapes, the stripped bunches of grapes just falling off the back of this harvester. Uh, just looking so good and, and so detailed and absolutely loving the amount of detail that's in the uh, <laughs> that's that's in the game this is this is absolutely brilliant and we get a final shot of the grape harvester as it's working and it's uh, yeah that is that is the new piece of equipment in the game for harvesting grapes uh seeing again seen this in mods in a couple of uh, vers uh previous versions really pleased to see that we've got uh, a, a big new uh, very different crop coming in with fs22 And of course, once you've harvested your grapes and autumn comes along, you need to look after them as well. And to do that, you're going to need this piece of kit. This is a, uh, again, it's the Fent 200 that it's attached to. But this is a Pro Vitus Osea Pre Pruner MP122. Uh, Another new brand that is in the game uh, with uh, Pro Vitus. And uh, and yeah, really love the the animations and things as you as this drives along and strips the leaves off. Um, works really really well. Does this piece of kit? 
And then we come on to this. So uh, I'll get to this piece of machinery and this tractor in a minute. Um, what I wanted to do with this screenshot was show you uh, the crops. Um, I think we've got uh, the new crop uh, sorghum on the left. And I think this is soybeans on the right. Uh, both of those crops actually looking quite thick. I think that's thicker than they were in FS19 which is uh was really nice to see um one of the i think one of the 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 valid uh criticisms that the earlier versions of fs gets is that the crops seem a little thin um here i'm i'm liking this this is uh this is a nice thick crop um and uh and should look really good but i want to move on to this kit which is a Zito Crystal HD 170. Um, again, we've got another variation in the character model in the cab. We seem to have a denim jacket on this one, uh, which is uh, which is quite cool. Um, again, we've got another variation on the uh, number plate as well, so they seem really really customizable. This piece of kit behind this, the ELHO Scorpio is a distoner and you can see the stones on the field bottom left hand corner of the of the screen that is amazing i am i am absolutely loving that that having to destone a field is a thing in fs22 it's something that i've wanted for a while especially around uh, potatoes uh, and uh, and potato farming um, to see uh, to see us have a distoner and 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 have to distone fields are absolutely brilliant. We can get a closer look at it uh, in this shot here, and uh, yeah, look at that. Look at the detail on that that occlusion mapping looks absolutely amazing, and look at those stones sticking out from the from the ground that that is coming along and picking up absolutely brilliant wonderful new feature as part of fs22 and when it comes and does this it's not just a case of they disappear they go into storage in the destoner and that means that you're going to have to do something with them and i'm really interested as to what you're going to do with uh with stones and 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 how these are going to be used are they going to be part of a production chain uh are you just going to have to create a pile of stones at the side of the field how is this going to work and i and i really can't wait to find out uh how this is all going to work and how this is all going to fit together over the next few screenshots, we've got the progression of seasons. So we start in the spring, uh, we go through to the summer and the autumn, and then the winter uh, as the leaves have fallen. And yeah, that is just really, really lovely. So pleased to see seasons in FS22. Uh, um, obviously something that we've known for a while now, but looking really good. Similarly, we've got the progress here of snowfall and the fact that we get snow on the roofs as well and snow on the top of the hedges. The hedges round this um, house all have snow on them as well. Um, I think I'm trying to see uh, in the background on the uh, on the silos i can't see if there is actually any snow on those but yeah absolutely loving the snowfall on the grass on the steps on the on the hedges basically uh we get snow lying on top of everything uh and it just looks really really good and of course once you've got the snow you're gonna need to get it moved uh so here we've got a Sammer's snow snowplow we saw this in the cinematic trailer we saw one of these on front of the uh, massey 5s in that uh, i like the particle effect up against the blade here um that that works really well and also um i love the the, the bulge of snow in front of it um it's it's a really good uh, piece of animation and uh, and it works really really well um yeah we're going to be clearing snow in fs22 um i'm hoping that we might get some uh contracts 
for snow clearing in winter that would be really useful um but uh we have to wait and see for that now earlier in the trailer we had the shot going along the road of the uh, john deere uh, 9rx um and we get another shot of it here from top down however that's not what i'm uh, massively interested in here what i want to look at here is the cultivation texture uh, and the ground textures uh complete overhaul on those in fs22 and in this trailer alone we've seen half a dozen different ground textures uh and and this is this is running a cultivator but we've seen another field that's already been cultivated that doesn't have the uh, straw in it that, do that doesn't have the, the stubble texture in it. So it looks like we're going to get a lot more variation in ground textures in FS22, uh, which is absolutely brilliant to see. Uh, what, what you get after cultivating should depend on what crop you had in that field before if you have a grain crop that has uh, that you're cultivating in you should get uh, the stubble cultivation texture like this but if you've done something like uh, sugar beet or potatoes or something like that uh, you wouldn't expect to see this stubble um, so yeah good to see that variation in the ground textures as well um, really really nice uh, to see such detail in FS22. Then we've got another shot of the uh, Jens wood chipper. Uh, seems like uh, this is holding the log quite well. Uh, I, one thing I know a lot of people are hoping for in FS22 is a an improvement in the physics. Um, for me, the physics has improved with every version of Farming Simulator that has been released. Um, so I'm looking forward to see seeing how it's been improved and how much it's been improved in fs22 uh, the other thing we've got at the front of here is uh previously known we've got the classic massey ferguson tractor you can see just peeking out at the left hand side of the screen uh the 3670 there um so that looks to be attached to a very large trailer although i uh, can't really see any detail on it as to its brand so uh yeah uh, looks like that tractor is capable of hauling quite a bit if it's got a trailer that size behind it we're back to the class a try on next on here and a shot of the straw coming out the back of it the detail in this straw is utterly fantastic uh it's not just this big lump coming out the back it is really detailed uh <laughs> really sharp and yeah i'm loving i'm absolutely loving that straw uh animation coming out of the back of the combine same for the chaff coming out the side the particle effects for the chaff in fs22 are absolutely brilliant as well this is so much real uh, so much more realistic um i'm it's absolutely incredible i am i am blown away by this trailer if you can't tell uh, it is um yeah fs22 is just looking absolutely awesome and then we've got a close-up of the uh, elho scorpio 550 uh yeah our distoner here this is this is more i, I want to show some of the detail and things um it's it's just a a really really nice thing as to how detailed uh, all the equipment and everything is in uh, fs22 i also i want to repeat the fact that i cannot believe that destoning is something that we've got in in fs22 there's there's more farming activity and more realism added with every version of the game and fs22 is no exception um there's more to do and 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 more uh and it gets more detailed and more realistic with every release so yeah i'm i'm absolutely loving that this is a thing and as i was saying earlier uh the detail in the grape harvester as well this is this is the grapes falling through and going through um and yeah i'm loving that there are little bits of detail like this uh throughout this harvester i think this is this has got to be one of the more uh more detailed pieces of equipment i think we've ever had 
in a farming simulator game and there's just so much going on in this grape harvester um i'm i'm really excited to give it a try and give it a go and have a play around with it myself um it is it is looking absolutely fabulous though and again, another shot of uh, the rear of a combine, this time the CH770. Uh, and again, we're seeing the particle effects coming out of the back here. Uh, this is chopped straw this time, and you can see the smaller particles of straw looking just as nice as the larger uh, bits of straw that were in the swath. Uh, also, look at the reflector at the top left really nicely detailed and i mean that's such a small detail and you get this close up to it and it's still really detailed and looking really nice and in fact the whole underside of this combine here uh there is just so much detail packed in and these these models have got to be the nicest i think i've ever seen in a farm sim game uh they are just absolutely brilliant and then we get a nice side shot of the John Deere uh, 9470RX. Um, nice big tractor. Again, uh, 3D tracks seem to be a uh, standard thing in Farming Simulator 22. Um, our character model has his a nice facial hair back as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing around with the character customizer in this. Seems to be, as I said earlier, a lot of uh options and things uh that you can do with your character in fs22 so far ahead of what you could do in farming simulator 19. um pulled behind this john deere we have a batstad cultivator and that is the batterstad nz extreme 1425 this is a 14 point uh 25 meter cultivator um absolutely huge piece of kit uh and it's uh this is a nice extreme close-up of it um yeah again you can see all the detail including can you see that pack of spanners in there i love that it's just there is such an attention to detail in this it is absolutely brilliant and i'm loving it i am so excited for this game now Back to the Massey Ferguson 5S115, along with the uh, Massey Ferguson uh, 1840 baler. Again, small bales. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested to see how we're going to be picking those up in a way that isn't going to take absolutely ages. Um, you can see in the background as well, we've got a, a cutter trailer. Um, I'm guessing that's the cutter trailer for the new holland combine that this was working with um and uh and yeah just uh, again all over just a really nice load of detail to this and this is the better shot of the es pro 6000 rc that i was talking about uh, earlier in this video um so yeah it is uh it looks it might even be as big as a nine meter seed of this Oh no, a 6,000 is going to be a 6 meter. So this is a 6 meter cedar. Uh, looking uh, again really nice. Loving the ground textures. You can see uh, in front and behind it uh, the, uh, 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 the, the mapping, uh, the new mapping that uh, Giant's using for the textures to give it that effect is it's looking really nice. Lots of great detail in the soil. Also, another cultivator texture. So there is there is quite a variance uh in the uh in the ground textures on this um again adding that extra level of realism to the game we're back to the azito crystal and uh the elh elho scorpio um doing the destoning again you can see the stones underneath the tractor they they aren't just something that's part of the texture they are actually sitting on the surface uh and uh to to be collected up so yeah that's it it they've, they've, looks like they've been treated as a crop so it looks like they're on the field pretty much as a crop and i i, I really like that it, it helps to uh, to make them uh something that that feels a bit more physical in game uh, which is again i'm using the word fantastic a lot in this uh doing this trailer breakdown it is fantastic 
And then our last shot of equipment in the trailer is a final shot of the uh, Cobra, uh, the Ponzi Cobra. Um, yeah, uh, forestry is looking great in this. i loving the new sounds that are going with it. Um, just looking absolutely brilliant. And then we get confirmation once again of the release date for Farming Simulator 22. It'll be available on the 22nd of November. There are links in the description if you want to pre-order it um, using my partner code and help to support the channel. But of course, the other thing is the announcement of the year one season pass. You can get the first three DLC and uh the big ex uh, and the expansion uh first big expansion um included in that uh links for that are also down there um this is the big announcement of the uh seasons pass uh giants have released a blog uh with more details on it if you want to go and check that out um but included in it as i said are the first three dlc along with the first expansion um and it does say in the graphic first expansion so uh are we going to get more than one expansion for farming simulator 22 are we going are we continuing with a three-year cycle um that that would be huge um the other thing is the first DLC is Winter 21-22. So we're looking at getting our first DLC within the first three months of Farming Simulator 22's release. And then we have it ev a release every season for the first year. So we are looking at uh, roughly every three months a new DLC or expansion pack. That is included in the season pass that is absolutely brilliant um absolutely loving that as i said there are links for all of this in the description if you wish to uh pre-order and support the channel um i'm gonna leave this here though so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time Goodbye.